Thank you, Mr Speaker. I would like to pay tribute today to Uncle Dick Carney, who sadly passed away last month, aged 77, and my deepest sympathies to his wife, Auntie Ruth. Dick was a well-respected Aboriginal elder in the Narromine community, a very gentle, very quiet man who was completely generous with everyone he met. Dick lived a humble life, but he grew up in a fairly amazing and somewhat troubling time in Australia's history. This is not the first time that Dick's story has been told. It's actually been made into a stage show and a book, but I think it's really appropriate to share some of his life again, and I thank Auntie Ruth for the permission to do so. Richard Carney was born at Warren, northwest of Narromine, in 1942 to parents Bill and Josie Carney. He was the third eldest of 14 children. His father, Bill, worked on properties around the district and the children spent most of their time in the bush, hidden away from the authorities, who they were warned could take them away. When they went into town to visit family, the kids knew that if they saw a car approaching, they should hide up in the fruit trees. Dick used to tell a story about the Warren debutante ball in 1960, where his cousin was to make her debut. Dick went and bought some second-hand white trousers. His mum dyed them black, and he also got a brand new pair of shiny leather shoes. He pressed his shirt, tied a half Windsor, and set off on the hour-long walk into town with his brother Bill. But the doorman turned them away, which broke Dick's heart. He said he didn't feel much like dancing after that. When Dick and his brothers got much older, they all went away and became shearers. In reality, there probably wasn't much else on offer for young Aboriginal men in 1960s Australia. They travelled around regional New South Wales, only returning home on weekends, and it was on one of these weekends that he met Ruth, a country girl from Narromine. Dick's brother was actually dating Ruth's sister at the time, and they went on to get married too. On this particular weekend, Dick, his brother, and Ruth's sister were driving in Narromine when they noticed Ruth and her cousin walking in the opposite direction. They pulled over to talk. Ruth leaned in the window, and Dick was struck immediately by her charisma. To Ruth, Dick looked like a rock star with his thick, shiny black hair. The fact they both remembered that moment so vividly tells how important it was for both of them. Dick and Ruth were soon married, and while they didn't actually have a lot, they built a pretty special life together at Narromine. One of their favourite things to do together was actually dance. Dick used to say, we always dance together. When I'm too fast, she pulls me up. When I'm too slow, she goes, come on but we do it together. They did everything together. Dick and Ruth were never able to have children and that was something they felt very deeply, but it didn't stop them from throwing themselves heart and soul into the community. Dick drove the Narromine Preschool kindergarten bus and the kids absolutely adored him. Over four decades, Dick also guided hundreds of kids from teenagers to adulthood through their debutante balls teaching them ballroom dancing and even becoming MC. He had come full circle. Dick was a truly warm, caring and generous person who went through plenty of testing times, but he was never hardened by that. In recent years, Dick and Ruth shared their amazing story with the world through a stage show developed with the help of mudgy artist and writer Sam Payne. It's called A Little Piece of Heaven, starring Dick and Ruth. It played in Narromine, it played in Dubbo and toured to Melbourne as well. And Sam also helped Dick and Ruth turn their story into a book. I'd like to thank him for some of the insights he provided to help me reflect on Dick's life today. While he was nervous at first, Dick was very proud to share his story in the end and to see how people responded to it. One of Dick's favourite sayings was, don't get bitter, get better. It was something his dad had told him growing up and I think it's safe to say Dick absolutely nailed it. He didn't just get better, he truly was one of the best. Dick battled cancer towards the end, but very few people were even aware of that. He never wanted anyone to treat him any differently. So in the end, he decided to discontinue treatment and he and Ruth made the most of every day together. As I said, they did everything together. My deepest thoughts and prayers go out to Auntie Ruth and all of Dick's family and friends for their loss. The death of Uncle Dick Carney has left a massive hole in the Narromine community, but every single one of us is better for having known him. The number of people that lie on Narromine's main street on the day of his funeral is a quiet testament to that. Vale, Uncle Dick Carney.